Get out of here! Oh man, looks like I'm gonna have to put up some signs. Signs? <laughs> I don't think they can read. <laughs> I think later on we'll be able to make a grappling hook though, so we can we can hang from whoa, whoa cave in, run. <laughs> Ooh, get out. You better watch that maggot man, sir. I don't trust him. The maggot man, the guy with the full 20 feet. Is that rain I hear? Drumming on my tent? Oh <gasps> it is! Woohoo! Yeah, we love the rain. Oh wait a minute. No, that's Stardew Valley I'm thinking of. This is Starbound. I don't want the rain actually. I do. I don't mind the rain. You want to know why, guys? Because we are going to farm. <laughs> I know I said I wasn't going to do any farming in uh, in a previous episode because we do enough farming as Farmer Punch would in Stardew Valley, but we do need to do some farming in Starbound. Unfortunately, it's kind of a necessity. At least if we want to have nice clothing, because we need cotton. And we can only get cotton via harvesting or growing it ourselves. We need cotton fiber. And I have, like, one cotton fiber so far. Where is it? Yeah, one. That's the only one I have, but we need more. Fortunately, I have a cotton seed, too, that I got from that particular plant that I plucked on this, on this uh, planet somewhere. So, I'm going to go ahead and grow my own. And we might as well throw some food down here while we're at it. Because the food is actually spoiling. See, right here, rotten food. It's junk. It's gross. And it's not edible. And we're just going to toss it in the incinerator. There's another one. I think that was my egg. I was going to use that to bake a cake or something. Gone. So you can see on all these items of food that it tells you how well it's preserved and if it's fresh or not. Like this says, should it stay fresh for a while? And then over time, it gets, uh, it gets worse. The canned goods are extremely well preserved, as is the potato here, too. So, anyway, I've got a bunch of seeds. I'm going to go ahead and get them in the ground. And we have a watering can to water, but if it's raining, we don't have to use a watering can. And that's why we love water so much. <laughs> Oop. Well, we can't do any farming until we get an actual farm. And that's why I have a hoe and a watering can. All right. We got our farmland. Actually, you know what? Let's take down this awesome Dr. Seuss tree. I do love these trees so much. Don't they remind you of Dr. Seuss? Books and stories? Yeah. So I'm going to keep those. That's good. That should be enough space for a little farm. And I got my hoe. Let's get hoeing. So this does not change. You till the soil. Ooh, gosh. Wait a minute. Oh, oh, we can reverse the process, too. Oh, it's getting hydrated. That's what the dark is. Oh, sweet. Right. It's the rain. Oh, I love rain so much. Man, Farmer Punch was going to be so jealous that I got rain on my first day of farming. Okay, I think I got it. Stand in one spot and then get one, two, three, four, and even five, six, seven, eight, and nine, and and almost ten. Oh no! Oh no, Raiden, come back! You missed this spot. All right, I'll get this spot. We'll see how this works. Oh wow, it does a whole bunch. The space is all one shot. Oh, that's nice. All right, great. So the soil is hydrated. Now all I have to do is put in the seeds so let's get this guy out of the way we'll start with uh rice how do i do this okay so that's actual rice it's not seeds uh we need seeds it's carrot tomato how close together can we put these guys get them all facing the same direction got some wheat here corn seeds lovely taters Pearl pea, and finally the cotton seed. I'm gonna put the cotton seed way over here. You cotton picking cotton seed because. Oh wait. Okay, hold up. I can't put it over here because this tree is in the way, so I'm gonna have to get rid of it. All right, let's try that again. Where's my cotton picking cotton seed? Yeah, right there. All right, cotton picking cotton picking cotton seed. Say that a thousand times fast on this side because I'm gonna spread these out more with each uh, with each harvest and get some more seeds going. So, all right, there we go. And we do have to hydrate this every once in a while, too. I'm not sure exactly how often, but uh, we'll have to check in on it now and again. Unfortunately, yuck. But what you gotta do? I need my cotton. I want some nice clothes. And, oh, drat. Can I put this on? Oh, I can put it on the, on the platform. Nice. All right, and just in time, because it's now getting dark, and I should probably get back up to the ship, and then we can get going on a uh, on a quest jonesy hey buddy hey guess what i got stand still it's shower time 
I know you don't like this, but we have strict hygiene policies here aboard the USS Sulaco. And you're starting to smell like a wet dog, so now you smell like a wet cat. Good job. He likes that, I think. Maybe not. All right, with the farming nonsense behind us, let's get a quest underway. What, what Josie? Yeah, yeah, a quest to find you a bed and, um, and a food bowl. Yes, of course, that's exactly what we're going to do. Uh, actually, no, not at all. Uh, but what we are going to do is, uh, well, first of all, yeah, let me show you. See, here's where the cotton wool comes into play. You can't have nice clothes until you get cotton wool, <laughs> among other things, like this uh, teddy bear. So that's one of the quests is to get a teddy bear, find a teddy bear for the little fuzzy wuzzy guy in uh, at the at the outpost, right, right here, the lost teddy. I don't think we're going to be able to find one, so we're going to have to whip one up. He won't know the difference, the little bugger, right? So we need a couple of cotton wool for that one, unfortunately. Now we can make cotton wool out of the cotton fibers if we have to grow the cotton uh, obviously. So that's why we did the farming. Now, there's one other thing I wanted to make, and that's a flag. Oh, we make that right here in our pockets. Okay. That's easy enough. That is copper bar and woven fabric. Let's make one of those. Sail says, I am able to reconfigure the ship's teleporter to teleport directly to the location marked by this flag. Place and interact with the flag to establish a name. Right. So now we don't make bookmarks directly in the teleporters anymore. We used to be able to just add them right here. But now we have to place an item, and that is what the flag is for. So when we go down to a planet that we want to return to, we place the flag, and that becomes a bookmark. Let's go do that right now real quick. So let's put it right about... Oh, nasty bird coming. Incoming. I love this dual wheel, by the way, so thanks for pointing that out in the comments. I hadn't actually tried putting two weapons together in one slot, but yeah, it works. Not only weapons, but you can put things like flashlights and other things. Uh, any one-handed items together. It's pretty sweet. Um, anyway, let's go ahead and put that flag down right here. It's a human flag. And we'll have it blowing in the wind. Blowing in the breeze right here on the old box. And now I guess we can put a name on it. Oh yeah, we can click on it and put a name. Nice! We'll call this the farmstead. Okay, our farmstead. We'll build a little house over here, maybe a little cabin, and we'll have the farms. Oh, look at this stuff's already growing. Oh, no. But look at the soil's dry already. That was fast. Hey, get off the crops. Get out of here. Oh, man, it looks like I'm going to have to put up some signs. <laughs> signs? <laughs> I don't think they can read. <laughs> um, I meant fences and gates. <laughs> walls. That's what we need. We need walls to keep the riffraff out. I hope it rains here a lot because I don't want to do this. I mean, I just stopped by to do a couple of quick things, and already I've got a... Oh, look at this. Of course, the one with the cotton, right? The most important one. I don't think it grows if it's not hydrated. All right, put that away. And now, back to our regularly scheduled programming. So we have our bookmark. Let's go up. Back to the ship, and click on this. And there it is! Farmstead! It's on Akherd Crest 4. And we can change the name if we want. And it even shows the planet type it looks like. That's so sweet. Oh, I love it. So we can always return there if need be. What's up, Jonesy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm getting on with it. I'm getting on with it. So we have that quest to do, the teddy bear quest. But this is going to be a while. So uh, let's do this one. For Science Monkey. Elliot the Science Monkey in town needs ten silver bars. We have nine already. So we should be able to do that in a jiff. All right. Let me check my, um, my hot bar here. Make sure I have everything where I want it. And then we're going to go jump in a hole. You guys know what they say about holes. They always lead to adventure. Right. All right, let's go. We'll go right down. Oh, let's go to the farmstead and see where it puts me. Hopefully not inside a box. Yeah, right on the box. <laughs> That's okay. I got the high ground just in case there's any enemies around. Oh, my gosh. Look at this. The corn's dry. Oh, this is ridiculous. Okay. Oh, nasty bird. Get out of here. Nasty bird. Oh, well, this is going to get old real fast, guys. There's got to be a way to automate this, I hope. And let's jump in a hole. There's a hole right here. Let's go. Let's get the spares out with my uh, little flashlight. Wait, there's a hole over here. Oh, you know what I had down here? I had trapped a, uh, a bunny. I had trapped a bunny here because I thought maybe it would stick around, but apparently they despawn. Okay, yeah, here we go. Now we're down in the... Um, in that mining facility. Not Urkius, but just the uh, the starter miner mining facility. 
Open your eye! You gotta see where you're going. Oh, I have the dash! I forgot about the dash! Ow! I forgot I had the dash. I'm just gonna use my sword against these guys. It's a lot easier. Oh, it's the little eyeball guy. Alright. Looking for silver. Look at the mouse! There's a mouse here, there's a little mouse there. Oh, I want pets so badly. You know what, I, sh I should have made a, uh, a bug net. I don't think you can catch mice with a bug net. But um, you can catch, like, butterflies and stuff and put them in jars. But eventually, we're going to be able to hire crew members. We just have to do more quests. Just do a lot of quests for people in town, which is what we're working on right now, right? And then they'll join us after a while. So I'm really looking forward to that. Get some, get some people on my, uh, on my ship. I mean, I love Jonesy and everything, but... Not much of a conversationalist. Oh, what's this then? There's an armadillo here, but there's like... Oh, some kind of a structure. Oh, look at this little guy. <laughs> he rolls up into a ball. That's sweet. All right, let's get the guns out. Now, remember, we're on the lookout for silver. We don't want to get too greedy. We get the silver and we get out of here. Oh, man, I can't get in this way. It's like I'm going to have to bust in. But I hate to break these things up. Oh, what's the eyeball guy? Dash! Oh, where's my dash? I can't do it from the air, apparently. You used to be able to do that. I think you have to upgrade it to do that. Open your eyes so you can see me killing you. Come on. Open up. There we go. There's like little hieroglyphics on these, uh, on these bricks. So maybe it's nothing. Maybe it's just something I can take with me. For building purposes. Yeah, maybe I can get, get those bricks. But you know what? I'm not that interested in the bricks right now. Oh, wait. There's silver. I see silver, guys. I see silver. Silver and gold. Well, just silver. Oops. No, can't chop it. Use the matter manipulator. And by the way, the manipulator's been upgraded. Remember? We made it stronger, so it it cuts through these uh, blocks much faster. And it sure is by a lot. Feels like a good 50%. Although I'm not really sure exactly. It's just a wild guess. <laughs> All right, how much silver was that? So we got three silver ore. We need one bar. I think it takes two silver ore to make one bar, so we probably have enough, but just in case... Oh, hello! The guy's in the dark here. I'm going to grab a few more. I just want to make sure we have enough. I don't want to go back to the ship and then find out we need a couple more. Oh, 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 wait. I just saw something down here. I hear a couple of those uh, one-eyed rockheads. Hold on. Ooh. It's a long way down. Make a little safe stare. And, yep, yeah, there's the one-eyed rockhead. Let's shoot him. Oh, he clammed up. Come on out of there, Clammy. Get out of there. Oh, hey. <laughs> He's so mad. Yoo-hoo. Up here. He's dead. Lots of vines over there. It's like a flat surface here. Oh, look at this. So more of these ruins. They're like Egyptian hieroglyphic ruins. Oh, there's something up here. Oh, what is this? It's a box. It's a wooden crate. That's really cool looking. Let's grab it. Let's grab this one, and it's flares. All right, nothing to get too excited over, but... Honestly, I'm more excited about those awesome wooden crates. I love the different styles of everything. I love collecting all the different kinds of crates. All the crates! And, of course, furniture and so forth. So that when we finally do get to build a home, we're going to have lots of different options. And look at that background. That's so cool. It's like, wa it's like a waterfall. Now, this looks like a long way down. And what is this funky material? Cobblestone? Do we have any cobblestone? I'm not sure, but I'm going to grab it. All right. Aha! Silver! Awesome. That ought to do it. Whoa! Look at all this silver. Is that a mushroom? I want it. Let's go down there and get it. But check that out, guys. Look at the dripping water. I love it. We should probably eat, too, since our chicken is starting to go bad here. We'll probably go bad soon. We'll par yeah, it's all of Oh, even the tomatoes. Well, let's just go ahead and eat. We'll heal us up a little bit and also give us a bit of a buff. Oh, no buff. 
Other than the full belly buff, but whatever. Now, this little guy... Oh, it's gone! Just went poof. Okay, too bad. Hmm, that's a long way down. I don't think I want to go that way. What is that thing? See, they just disappear. They go poof. As soon as you touch them. So they cannot be collected, but they certainly look kind of cool. Some copper. Is that copper or is that gold? Hold up. That could be gold. I think that's gold. It's gold. Woohoo! Silver and gold. Yukon Cornelius would be proud. <laughs> Alright, well, I guess that's all of it. Something's coming. Oh, hey! Ow! And now he's going. Okay. See? Oh, he's coming back, isn't he? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I keep trying to jump and do the dash, but that it doesn't do that anymore. Like I said, we have to upgrade it to get the jump dash. Old habits, you know what I'm saying? At least I can jump and swing. Alright, I think it's time to boogie. I'm just going to grab this little bit of copper here and over there. And then we're going to get out of here. Now, I want to try something. Where's my ropes? Okay, there's a little bit of a drop with the rope. Let me see if I... Oh, no, you can't. You can't use the rope and the uh, the matter manipulator at the same time. No, that's too sh that's too bad. I think later on we'll be able to make a grappling hook, though, so we can we can hang from... Whoa! Uh, cave in! Run! <laughs> Ooh, get out! Get out of there! Punch wood! Whew! Did I just do that? <laughs> Oops. I hope nobody got hurt. Look at that. I just made a whole mountain of sand. <laughs> I just covered that guy in sand. Oh, we made it out. The little one-eyed rockhead. Alright, I'm just going to work my way back up. You know, what we could never do before was beam up to the ship when you're underground, but they changed that. So, I don't know if that's um, only in the casual play mode. It could be, but you know what? It is very, very convenient. But I'm not ready to do it yet. I just want to look around a little bit more here, guys. And then, uh, oh, more bones. And then I'll get going. We'll finish up this quest. So hang tight. Let me just grab a few more things before I go. Oh. Oh, look at this little guy. You're so cute. Like a Pokemon. Ow. Oh, he's slapping me, though. What? Oh, oh, now he's shooting stuff at me, too. <laughs> okay. You're not so friendly. You're going to have to die. And he goes right through the walls. Wow. He was kind of adorable, but uh, a little bit hostile. Ooh, look at all that coal. I'm not going to grab it right now. What I am going to do, though, is go back and grab... Oh, can't do that. Is uh, get some of those hieroglyphic blocks over this way. This right here. And check it out. There's a box inside. And it has... Wow. Four iron ore. Amazing! And now I'm going to dismantle it. Well, unless it's too hard. Okay. Oh, look at all this stuff. Simple temple blocks, smooth tomb brick, learn to craft. Oh, I get to, and, and I learned to craft them both. So yeah, right, I keep forgetting that. I should take everything I see so that I can learn to craft it. All right, we got everything we need. Let's beam up to the ship. Hi, Jonesy, I'm back. Did you miss me? Sorry, I didn't find your cat bed or a cat bowl, but uh, I'm working on it. All right, let's get over here to the furnace and we'll do this real quick. I want to do all of my copper bars, all of my gold bars, all the iron bars, and... Ooh, 18 silver bars. Perfect. That's more than enough. All right, so now we have to go back and speak to Elliot the Science Monkey at the outpost. Um, is there anything else I can bring before we go? Nah, we're nowhere close to getting enough cotton to make the teddy bear. I just went down to the planets and checked. And the soil was dry yet again. Yahoo. So I had to water it, but no cotton yet. So let's just get down to the outpost. Although, wait a minute. I should probably bring my tech cards. Where's my tech cards? I moved them. Oh, gosh. What am I doing? Uh, tech card. Here it is. Six tech cards. So maybe we can do an upgrade. All right. Let's go. Two-stop teleshop. We'll put us right in the outpost. And here we are in the city. Ooh, better put the weapon away, right? Yeah. Oh, hi. <laughs> Sorry, ma'am. <laughs> uh, no, you asked me that last time I was here. Same answer. All right, here he is. Elliot the Science Monkey. Hello, Elliot. It's me, PFC Punchwood with the TP. Quest complete. Jump starting development. 
Marvelous! With these additions, the Pulse Jump Tech is ready for testing. Come and speak to me again if you'd like to help. Oh, please. Don't you dare tell me I have to do another obstacle course. I don't like your obstacle courses. But what's up? Tell me. New quest jumping to the right conclusion. My Pulse Jump Tech needs thorough testing before I can begin distributing it. My new obstacle course is ready and waiting. Talk to me again when you decide you're ready to try it out. You're doing this on purpose, aren't you? Fine, let's do it. Here we go, guys. Oh, I don't like these obstacle courses. I hate that science monkey. All right, what's this? To use the pulse jump tech, press space bar while in the air. Doing so will give you a small upward. Oh, this is a different one. Okay. I, yeah, oh. <clears throat> okay. First try. <laughs> First try. <laughs> I have to wait till I get to the apex of my jump before I hit that. Yeah. Oh, I got it now. Oh, this is easy! Look at me go! Go, Punchwood, go! If I fall now, it's a long way down, and that would hurt. Yeah, seriously, can I die here? Huh! Oh, this is much easier than the double, double dump, double dash. Huh! Woohoo! We got this, Punchwood! Ooh, that was a close one. Easy now, easy now. What's this? Oh! Oh, it's water. Telemetry indicates that to make that jump, you should delay using Pulse Jump until you level the target... Play oh, level. Right. Okay. Thanks. Thanks for telling me. Now I have to... Now I'm going to be all wet. <laughs> okay, level. Ready? Let's get ready. Three, two, one, go. Level! Did it! Hey! Sail, you are right! Thanks, buddy! <laughs> and now where are we going? Um, I don't trust this down here. What, what's this all about? Oh, I got to get to the button. Okay, I can do that. Ready, and now let's go here and whammo! Woohoo! Click! Let me out of here! Oh, that was easy. That was easy. Hey, I like that one. Piece of cake, Elliot! What you got for me? <laughs> the pulse jump tech appears to be operating wonderfully. Keep that one. You've earned it. Come see me again when you're ready for more work. Dude, you call that work? It's not work. That's just fun. I'm good at that. Ma'am, I'm having a talk with the science monkey, please. What's up? What do you want? Ma'am, please, get out of the way. Ma'am, I'm with the TP. Stand back. I'll throw this flare. What do you want from me? I'm being chased by Florin. Oh, uh, this is freaky. Stop. In the name of the TP. Leap. All right, fine. You want to... There she goes. Okay, she just wanted to give me a smile. I have that effect on ladies, Elliot. <clears throat> anyway, so what's, what's cooking now? New quest, rounding up the components. The tech I'm working on now is truly fantastic. It enables the user to compress into a small, spherical form, ideal for moving around in tight spaces. I need some final components to finish it. Could you bring me 10 gold bars? And I'll get a manipulator module as request. Ah, uh, yeah, sure, no problem. And, and then I guess you're going to throw me into some kind of crazy obstacle course, right? Yeah, let me guess. Here, have that. <clears throat> That's for you. <laughs> All right, so did I get a reward bag? I didn't get a reward bag. I got a manipulator module, and I have six tech cards. I still don't think I have enough tech cards to upgrade anything. Oh, we got the leg tech now. Awesome. Oh, wait, we can. Can we? No. Oh, he gave it to us for free. Right. We got the pulse jump for free. We have the body tech here for free as well. And the head tech is obviously going to require the gold. Now, oh, no. Look who it is. It's Maggot, man. <laughs> Maggot Man, it's so nice to see you again. How are you doing? Dead men have no tails. Yeah, I've heard that joke before. Uh, are you hacking into the system? What was that? Let me guess. That was the camera system that caught you cheating in cards, right? Well, I'm turning it back on. I'm turning that right back on. There we go. <clears throat> you better watch that Maggot Man, sir. I don't trust him. The Maggot Man, the guy with the full 20 feet. Whatever, forget about it. Oh, man. All right, let's get out of here. He went back down into the pit to play more cards. <laughs> That's so awesome. Oh, that's a strange place, the outpost, kitty cat. Don't ever go there, okay? Anyway, I'm back, and we have two more golden bars to get. Unfortunately, we don't have enough. We're going to have to go delving deep. Again, which is not a problem. I enjoy that. Um, let me put my tech stuff away. And you know what we'll do? I know, Jonesy. I know I'm still looking for the, the bowl and bed. Sorry, buddy. But uh, maybe we'll do that in the next episode. So with that, my friends, I think we'll call it quits. I hope you all enjoyed. And we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.